The video will show you how to set up and manage VAT and service tags for your company in QuickBooks. Please refer to the handbook that accompanies this lesson if you want to get the most out of this video. To set up tags, click on the Tax tab in the left sidebar on your QuickBooks homepage. You are taken to the Tax Center page in QuickBooks. Click the Set up Tax button. The Set up Tax window pops up where you can set up VAT and service tax for your company. The first page is for VAT. Enter your VAT registration number. Your current tax period begins in April, so make that setting. Choose between Accrual and Cash in the drop-down menu under Tax Scheme. Select your tax filing frequency and click Next. You can now set up service tax for your company. Enter your service tax registration number. Your current tax period begins in April, so make that setting. Choose between Accrual and Cash in the drop-down menu under Tax Scheme. Select your tax filing frequency. Once you are done, click the Setup button. QuickBooks will now configure your account to use VAT and service tax. You are taken back to the Tax Center page. Your QuickBooks account is now tax enabled and you can see your balance due for service tax and VAT on this page. To view or change rates and settings for service tax or VAT, click on Rates and Settings in the appropriate box. Let's view Rates and Settings for Service Tax. You are taken to the Tax Rates and Settings page. You can see the service tax rates and below it the service tax settings. The service tax rate has been automatically set by QuickBooks. Click on Back. To view rates and settings for VAT, click on Rates and Settings. You are taken to the Tax Rates and Settings page. You can see the VAT rates and below it the VAT settings. The VAT rates have been automatically set by QuickBooks. These are 14%, 4% and 5% VAT. Click on Back. For service tax, you can record payments, review input credits, create gross adjustments and run reports with the appropriate buttons. Similarly, for VAT, you can record payments, perform tax computation, make tax adjustments and run reports with the appropriate buttons. Once you have configured your QuickBooks account with tax, you can create a tax preparation statement and liability report from QuickBooks. You cannot, however, use QuickBooks to file your tax returns.